The straight crossing was seen as impossible by some, but on the 14th of August 1973, five men, Richard Labrador, Abby Sousa, Charlie Perez, Ernesto Saginetti, and Francisco Schieri, rode for three hours straight, reaching Gibraltar from Punta Sierras. The Red Devils became the first and only rowing crew in Gibraltar to row the length of the strait. It was, it was exceptional. It was, it was something that uh, I'll never forget in my life. It was like uh, the sea was like a mirror, you know. It was flat, calm, as Mr. Bonfiglio had said. It was a tremendous feeling of achievement, and obviously the bond that that has given the five of us is something that has. Uh, will always withstand the, the, the test of time. I mean, we, are, we were brothers before, but we are now even more so. We, we achieved something which um, really made us a unit. There were people in the know who thought that it, it, it was something that was not possible. And of course, nowadays, you say, well, crossing the strait, no big deal. But it was uh, 50 years ago. And there have been congratulations today. The president of the Med Rowing Club, Stuart Bensadon, extended heartfelt congratulations on the anniversary, saying the group's tenacity, dedication and unwavering spirit demonstrated the true essence of sportsmanship and rowing excellence. The chief minister, Fabian Picardo, called it a remarkable achievement, which captured significant local and international media attention. He congratulated the, quote, magnificent crew. And the GSD said it was an important maritime achievement and the event got prominent coverage in the Sports World magazine. The party congratulated the team and the many people, it says, were involved behind the scenes. In case you missed it, the special program looking back at the struggles faced and the eventual triumph will be repeated this Thursday at 8 p.m.